Blessings, beloved ones. This is Amanda Amethyst, and I'm here with a lunar tarot spread for the time period between the new moon on July 15th, which is in Cancer, and the full moon, July's second full moon, so the blue moon, <laughs> July 31st, which is in Aquarius. I'll be using the fifth tarot deck by Martine and Teresina Bakkins, as well as pulling a card from the Goddess Guidance Oracle by Doreen Virtue, and also the Angels of Atlantis Oracle by Stuart Pierce. And while I'm shuffling the deck, I'm going to share with you some of the messages that have been coming to me for this time period. I've really been shown and told and made to understand in various ways that this is really the time for us to all step it up a notch and to embody our light. This is what is meant by enlightenment is to become lighter and to spread our light outwards to the world. It's time for us to allow more Christ consciousness to shine and flow through us. So what does that mean? That means embodying love, being love, and also it means stepping up. There's going to be a lot of action during this time period, which may be perceived as work for some of us. And there's also a lot of divine support and intervention from the angels, from your higher self, and however you perceive source or creator or the divine. It's also a time of balance and activation for the masculine and feminine principles of Christ. So that would be Yeshua and Mary Magdalene. There's a lot of this Christ energy, love energy, unity consciousness energy is really picking up speed even more than it has been, which is such a blessing for all of us. All right, so I'm asking for guidance for us. For all who will see this video for the time period between July 15th, new moon in Cancer, and July 31st, full moon in Aquarius. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm just going to pick one from each. The card that we got from the fifth tarot is the universe. So talk about enlightenment <laughs> and spreading our light. This card is one of the major arcana cards and it is the end of the last cycle. It's the 21st card out of 21 in the major arcana of this tarot deck. The universe is about being in perfect alignment and knowing that you are in perfect alignment with all that is, with the universal energies, and also embodying that, embodying that light, that consciousness, that love. This image shows a being that looks very angelic. She's got wings, and she's holding up this sphere and glowing light out from all around her. She's white, which encompasses all of the colors. The lights emanating off of her are yellow and pink and blue. So this is our divine will, yellow, the solar plexus. It's also our um, soul star chakra. And the high heart is also pink. But really the, the, eighth, the eighth chakra is that magenta color. And then the blue as well, that creative expression. How are you expressing into this world? And this is also a very uh, as above, so below card. This being is embodying universal energy. And this being is also grounding that light and energy into the earth. We see here that the figure is standing in a circle of stones. So this is also a really good time for group ceremony, which is always the impression that I get from those stone circles. 
We can also see beneath the surface of the earth the quartz crystals. Now this card has some extra imagery on it, which I don't have memorized, so I'm going to look it up in the book that comes along with this deck. The universe, the element, is an earth element card. The planetary symbol is for Saturn, which is wisdom, focus, and patience. The star symbol is future sight. It's really beautiful. The Lemurian symbol is universe. And the Mayan symbol is cosmos, the vibration of the night and the light. So again, as above, so below, um, darkness and light, it's that balance of all of these things, the outward and the inner expressions of self and of all that is, really embodying that. So a really, really potent time. Really potent time. Time for you to shine. Time for you to do your work that you are feeling called to do. And time for you to find that balance with all that is and the balance between shining and growing upwards and really grounding and rooting down into the earth or into your home, wherever that is, however you perceive that to be. For the goddess guidance card. Ask for an additional message from the Divine Feminine. That just came right out. Aracura, blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. It's a beautiful card. This is also a very cosmic card and the imagery is somewhat similar with the figure rising up out of a circular um, point at the bottom. And it's very cosmic, universe. And this has the cosmos swirling behind all of these flowers. So this card is all about flow, that cosmic flow. And the divine feminine is very soft and nurturing and um, in the womb. The, the feminine womb, also the masculine womb, the hara, but particularly in the feminine womb, there's a gateway to the cosmic womb and to the universe. And we can allow this connection to blossom open by going deeply within our womb space or within your hara. And of course, always within our heart as well, we can access these deeper places. So this is a great reminder that while we are here to shine and really come into balance with all that is, this is a process that we are in the beginning phases of. We're blossoming, we're blooming into our beautiful, authentic expressions of ourselves. And we need to be gentle, not only with other people, but also with ourselves. So please be gentle with yourself and realize that this is a process that you are either just beginning or just stepping into a new level of and that you may make mistakes or what you perceive to be mistakes. It might be a difficult or perceived to be difficult to progress and it's all perfect. Trust that cosmic flow and see the beauty of this card, the beauty of yourself blossoming. It's very fresh, clean energy. And for the Angels of Atlantis Oracle, asking for some more angelic support and guidance for us. And this is also a sound healing deck. So there is a, either a chant or a tone or a, an affirmation, a mantra that goes along with most of these cards. Some of them are silent. Ones are a little bit, nothing's really popping up yet. It's okay. Yeah. Mm. Zafkiel Romance. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> In this deck, the angels are depicted as orbs. So this is Zafkiel. It's a golden, orange, really fiery colored 
Ray that Zaf Kiel works with. And I don't have all of these ones, the sounds, memorized for them, so I will also look this one up in the book. Zaf Kiel is the sacred lover. Romance. So it says, this is a time of wondrous change in your loving propensities. Trust that Zafkiel will work this out for your highest good. Again, with the trust and being gentle with yourself and just being open, blossoming, blossoming potentially into a new romantic relationship. Or you could be learning about romance and realizing that perhaps you're not ready to be in that new relationship yet. And it's all perfect. It's all okay. Um, the chant is he, again, in the eighth chakra, which is interesting because I don't usually talk about the eighth chakra. Um, that's the chakra above our heads. It says, chant he in your eighth chakra to stimulate the opening of your universal heart chakra. This will allow your force to envelop all aspects of your ideal love in service of the unified field of light, for we are all interconnected. So this card is also very obviously connected to the universe card. Light, shining your light out. There are two candles in this too, which is also mirroring. I spoke earlier about the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, and also Yeshua, Mary Magdalene. It's that sacred union energy of balancing our inner masculine and feminine, and also finding that um, partnership mirrored in the external world. And this does not have to be simply a man and a woman. It can be a woman and a woman, a man and a man. It doesn't have to be cis. It can be transgender. It's all, it's all love. So we'll take a moment here. We'll end with chanting he through your eighth chakra. So we've got our crown chakra right on the top of our head. And then the eighth chakra it's about one hand length. Well, I'm kind of too short or too tall for once. <laughs> uh, that's different. So you can envision a magenta color about one hand length over your head and we'll chant the tone he three times into that spot. So we'll start out by breathing in and exhaling fully, and then we'll breathe in again, and on the exhale we'll chant he, and we'll do that two more times after. So breathe in, and let all the air out of your body. Breathe in. He. Breathe in. He. And breathe in. He. Thanks so much for joining me. Blessings to you on this new moon in Cancer, and I wish you all the best. I'll see you again on the full moon on July 31st. Again, this is a general reading. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can contact me, amandaamethysthealer at gmail.com. I'm also available for energy healing, transmissions, activations, all sorts of different goodies. Blessings.